another episode of Full Disclosure, brought to you by InfinityExist.com. I'm Knox, and this is Patch, and today we're going to do try booting. Uh, we're going to show you how to boot Windows XP, Backtrack 2, and Ubuntu all on the same computer. So let's get right into it. So we're going to assume that you already have Windows XP or Windows Vista already installed on your machine. I just have disk management open here, and you can see that we have a 40 gig hard drive. And basically, in this video, we're going to split into three different partitions for the three different operating systems. Really, this episode just is, is supposed to give you a, a general idea on how to multi boot your computer. It's really not that hard. The first step in this process is making sure Windows is shut down properly. That's very important when you're trying to make the other partitions uh, with Backtrack 2. And for that, we're just going to boot up, we're just going to put in our Backtrack 2 live CD and just boot it up. Um, once it's all booted up, just open up the terminal and type mount and that will that'll display all your current mounted devices and you have to unmount your hard disk or else you won't be able to um, resize the partitions. To unmount a device just type in U mount and then the device name and if you type in mount again you can confirm that it was unmounted. Then we're going to use QT parted to resize our uh, current partition, our current Windows partition, which is taking up the full 40 gigs. Uh, as you can see right there, all you have to do is right click it and click resize. And since we have 40 gigs and we're doing three different um, partitions, we're, we're going to make this 10 gigs. That way it'll leave room for all the other partitions and a little bit more for a shared partition that'll be shared between all the operating systems. So once you resize it, all you have to do is go to uh, File Commit and that will rewrite your disk so it has a smaller partition. Um, it's very important that you back up all your things because um, during this process, you can lose data. Um, it might be a good idea also to defragment your hard disk. And if you get an error in this, uh, while it's trying to resize your drive, it's probably because you didn't shut down Windows properly. Right. So after it's, resi after it's successfully resized, you can quit out of QT party. And we're going to use the program FDisk to add the, the different partitions for the different operating systems. Um, if you type in P, it'll show you all your current partitions, and there's only one right now, and that's the Windows partition. And then we're going to type in N to make a new partition. Uh, we're going to make a primary partition, so we put in P and 2 because we already have the first part, uh, primary partition, which is our Windows partition. And when it asks you the first cylinder to use, just push Enter, you just use default. Then it's going to ask you how much space you want to put in that partition. And since we did 10 gigs for the Windows partition, let's do another 10 gigs for our Backtrack 2 partition. And you do that by putting plus, and then the size of the partition in megabytes, and then a, a capital M. Um, if you're having trouble figuring out how many megabytes are in a gigabyte, uh, you can just use Google. Just type in 10 gigabytes to megabytes, and it'll do the calculations for you. Alright, so then we're going to make another primary partition. This is going to be primary partition 3. And this is going to be for a shared drive. It's going to be shared between all our operating systems. Uh, it's going to be also 10 gigs, so it's the same. Same thing as last time. Uh, and after that, we're going to make an extended partition because you only can have four primary partitions, but if you make one of those primary partitions an extended, partition, you can have multiple partitions inside that extended partition. So the last extended partition is going to take up the rest of our space on our disk. So you just push enter when it asks you how big it should be. It will just give you the default size. And that will be used for our Ubuntu uh, operating system and also our swap partition which will be used for both Backtrack 2 and Ubuntu. Uh, basically the swap partition is uh, when you run out of RAM, uh, it'll use this partition for like virtual RAM or right to the disk. 
Alright, so once you uh, get all those partitions made, you can use P again, and it'll show you all of them, make sure they're in there. And then what you want to do is push W, and that will write to your uh, disk, and save all those partitions. And then the next thing we want to do is format our second partition, which is our Backtrack, backtrack 2 partition, and we want to format it to the Extended 3 uh, file type. And you just do that with the mkfs.ext3, uh, and then the device, which is a hard disk and the second partition. And then I'm just going to open up QD Parted to show you how uh, graphically how our our disk is laid out right now. Um, as you can see, we have those four partitions and then one extended partition. And the extended partition is the last one in circle in blue. And then, yeah. All right. Uh, and before we can start installing Backtrack 2 with the rebooter system. All right. Once Backtrack is finally booted back up, we're just going to use the graphical installer. Um, you want to make sure you select the second partition or else it's going to install Backtrack over your XP partition. So you want to make sure you select the, the second disk. Um, also, it asks you where to write the, the master boot record. And then, you can just, it doesn't matter where it writes it because when we install Ubuntu, um, it's going to overwrite that and install Grub for us, which Grub is a, a bootloader. We'll get to, get to that later. And then you can just click install and wait till it to finish installing. All right. Once it's done installing, just uh, close out the installer and shut down Backtrack. <laughs> 